Hello again. Welcome back to SCLC TV. I'm Maynard Eaton, your moderator. Joining me, of course, is our president uh, and CEO, Dr. Charles Steele. Dr. Steele, we celebrated last week um, uh, the 96th birthday of Reverend Joseph Lowry, one of your predecessors. Absolutely. Uh, Dr. Lowry uh, is basically uh, responsible for me doing what I'm doing now because of the fact that uh, I studied uh, the Civil Rights Movement. And of course, he and Reverend John Nettles brought me in to give me my opportunity. He talked about, six years ago in an interview, about how nonviolent protests uh, will be back again. Uh, six years ago in an interview I did with him, it, it seems like it's reared its head again with regard to the NFL. Uh, while they're kneeling for the national anthem, still some suggest this civil rights organizations ought to be doing more to support them. Well, first of all, life is a cycle. Right. <clears throat> and as we always say, you can't get rid of the civil rights movement, particularly a lot of institutions like SCLC and others. But SCLC is the one that accomplished all of these uh, successes and, 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 and the opportunities that we have today. Many people are saying that the old days are over. And I, as, as I said, without being redundant, it's just going to repeat itself. So you don't rest on your laurels. You get ready for the repetition. He, he suggested, Dr. Lowry, that we did stop and rest during the Obama administration. And that well, we gave the, the a all, pass. The alt-right all right kept moving, it kept working. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I don't think in its entirety Dr. Lowry would say that we need to rest, you know, uh, because we had a black president. Because no president can do uh, what they want to do or what the people want them to do without having a relationship and a, a correlation of the community working with them, particularly the civil rights movement. President Lyndon Bain Johnson didn't wake up one day and say, I love the Negroes at that time, mm -hmm. and so let's free them. It was pressurized by the civil rights movement with uh, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and others. Well, what about the NFL now? Is this, is this going to last? Now owners are, say, are, are boycotting or balking and allowing their players to do. Some say it, it smacks of the plantation mentality. We have a young lady at uh, ESPN, Jamal Hill, gets suspended from work for suggesting that uh, the advertisers for the Dallas Cowboys be boycotted. This is taking on a life of its own. Well, going back to the correlation and collaboration again, uh, I, I respect the NFL players, the, the, the concept of what they're doing, because that's what we do. We protest when there's injustice, not only in this country, but throughout the world. Uh, also with uh, Ms. Hill, being on ESPN, she has a right for her opinion. But in reality of life, you must collaborate. You must bring about a correlation of the civil rights movement. I'm hoping that people from the NFL as well as the news media who sees this particular aspect of that demonstration will come to the people who've been doing it for many of years. We've been doing it for many of years at SCLC. So you're suggesting that NFL players keep your jobs, but let the civil rights movement kind of step in and be the barter between the owners and the players? No man or one man can do anything by themselves. Anytime you forget about the inclusion, and particularly with the leaders who have the historicity for you to be on TV, for you to be making uh, X amount of dollars, which we applaud in the NFL, you should have a peripheral vision and it's expand the scope of what you're doing and say, I'm going to turn it to the expert. I'm sure not an expert in the NFL running a touchdown or playing quarterback, even though I did it in high school. I'm definitely you, not. You, you know the civil rights business. I know the civil rights business and have won some victories. We're now approaching another Sunday. Uh, do you see this ebbing and flowing, coming to an end? Or do you think this will take on another life of its own and continue. Colin Kaepernick has started something. He, he has started something, but it's all about inclusion, man. Uh, had not Dr. King uh, been a person of inclusion, that's why he said he didn't care about having an SCLC chapter. I want affiliates. By having affiliates, I'm not telling you to give up what you got. Don't give up what you got, but share it with us, and let's support each other. You've been listening to SCLC TV. Dr. Charles Steele, I'm Maynard Eaton. See you next week.